Hey everybody, it's Mr. Hino with Mr. Hino's Lego Robotics. Uh, today's video is going to be about what to do if you see this. I had a few students bring this to me, and I'm like, oh boy. Um, so it's the Lego EV3 touch sensor, and that's what it looks like inside right there. So initially I thought, oh wow, there's, um, you know, what do we do here? Because initially what had happened is um, we had tried to put this back um, and you just can't randomly put this back the way you want to. So if you notice, um, if you see that black uh, button right there, can you get that focused? Yeah, right there. It's towards the top. So initially what we thought it was broken because if you look inside here, there's, um, here let me put this on the table here. Initially this button here that presses that black button right there. And what had happened is we had just randomly put this back any way we wanted to. But you gotta make sure that this side right there, this red knob right there, is at the top the way you put this back. If you don't put it back that way, then this touch sensor will never work again. So what I'm gonna do is just go ahead and flip this like that, making sure that that top button is at the top. See right there? So when I put this, sorry about that guys. So when I put this in, I wanna make sure I have that facing the top. No, oh, sorry about that. I wanna make sure I put it in like that. And then you heard it just go in like that. If you flip that, this, um, the touch sensor part any other way, it's not gonna make that connection with the black button and it will never get pressed in again. So what we thought was a broken sensor now, um, you know, gets pressed in and springs back out again. So a touch sensor saved. They thought they actually had broken this and um, I don't know, I guess I should tell them tomorrow it was fixed. Um, but anyway, um, there you go. There's the fix. If you ever have uh, this red button of the touch sensor come out, you just make sure you have it facing the right way when you put it back in. All right, guys, I don't know if you'll, you'll ever encounter a broken ten cent touch sensor like that again, but if you do, there's how you fix it. All right, guys, I am Mr. Hino from Mr. Hino's Lego Robotics. I am out.